Basically, Tiki is one of the few people in this country that's trying to save hang gliding in the United States. Um, the fact that she's African American female and she's been flying for 40 years and hardly anybody outside of the hang gliding world knows about her is beyond me. I don't understand why we haven't seen her on ESPN, why she hasn't been on the cover of Sports Illustrated, why haven't, you know, where, how come we're not getting the fair coverage? Um, that's a big part of this, and Tiki is single-handedly um, going out of her way to try to save hang gliding from totally disappearing in the United States. Um, <clears throat> that's why you need to donate to Tiki. She has worked her whole life with hang gliding. She's given everything um, to hang gliding. There, like I said, there's only a handful of people who are trying to keep hang gliding alive in the United States, and Tiki's one of them. And yeah, that's why you should donate to Tiki Mashi. She's if, if we lose hang gliding in the United States, if we lose Tiki, we basically lose hang gliding in the United States, if you ask me. If, an, if we lose another school for hang gliding, I, what are we gonna do? So yeah, not, we're not just asking for donations for Tiki, we're asking donations for hang gliding in the United States because Tiki creates pilots who become hang glider pilots, solo pilots, and go off to fly all around the world. So that being said, that's my main reason why you should donate to Tiki, just to save hang gliding, because it's going to disappear. Yeah. <laughs> It's true, right? World, there's no, it's, it's not a, in the hang gliding community, it's not a secret that some of the best flying is here in Texas. And it doesn't make any sense to me why we don't get more recognition. Uh, especially the people who have uh, committed their whole lives to flying and getting more pilots in the air, like Tiki. Yeah, have you not seen? Yeah, T Tiki's a legend in hang gliding. You ask any hang glider pilot, they know you. She, everyone knows Tiki. She's been there basically from the beginning. She's flown all over the country, all over the world. So not only are you a treasure, a national treasure, in my opinion, um, you're a huge inspiration. Not just for me and everybody else here, all the pilots in Houston. I mean, we see you and it's like, wow. You know, you, you, you're, you're it, you know? States. Uh, You've been there from the beginning. You're a legend. Everybody knows about you. But the thing is, Tiki never turns around and points the camera at her and takes glory and takes all the credit and doesn't, she, she doesn't do any of that. She's quite the opposite. She's like, oh, I don't, no, 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 don't, don't film me, don't film me. She doesn't want to be that person. But <coughs> she's... The real deal. She's the real, when it comes to hang gliding, she knows it. She knows it inside and out. She's the genuine article. I mean, people, if once you get to know her, it's like, man, I feel so honored that I know Tiki Mashi. And then you go back and you read all the old magazine articles like, whoa, she flew 200 miles. Oh my God. And you read, oh, she was a, she was sponsored by Eros. Oh my God! And you go back and just read all the articles. They're there. It's like, man, why didn't you tell me you were on TV? Why didn't you tell me you did this big flight? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. She doesn't talk about it. It's silly. She doesn't brag. So that's what you gotta do. Is like, man, you're it. You're you're the real deal. I mean, for for females in 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 the sport. Who else is leading the charge like you? You're leading the charge. Tiki Machi is pushing so many, she's been pushing hang gliding, pushing people to look into flying, to try it for decades. It's like, okay, she's a tow pilot and she pulls you up. No, it's on the ground. It's the mentorship. It's the, the push in the right direction. It's that talk after the landing or it's that talk while you're setting up the glider. It's those little bits of information. Sometimes it's a little bit it's a little bit, it's a hard pill to swallow sometimes because Tiki's gonna tell you what you need to hear. She's gonna tell you 
what you're doing right, what you're doing wrong. She's not gonna, she's not gonna sugarcoat it. She's gonna tell you how it is. And that's what we need, and that's, and that's what she does. She's not a, she's a mentor, she's a, a great coach, a, a teacher, a leader, and a legend of aviation. You're a, Tiki is a legend of aviation. She's a legendary hang glider pilot, master hang glider pilot. I think Tiki has pushed the boundaries in hang gliding. Going, Tiki, while everyone else was soaring on the ridges, in California and soaring on the dunes, Tiki was out in the middle of Hobbs, New Mexico, truck towing out in the middle of nowhere and going on 200 mile cross country hang glider flights. All right, female, African American, setting records in hang gliding. That was, oh yeah, and Tiki doesn't even mention it, those kind of things. So, I mean, like I said, she's a legend. She doesn't brag about it. She doesn't talk about it, but oh yeah, she's, she's the real deal. That's what I mean when I'm saying she's the real deal. So there's that. And I, I, and I think it's kind of ridiculous how she's, oh, yeah, don't talk about me. But yeah, she, I would be, I would be bragging if I flew 200 plus miles. Yeah, it's Black History Month. We should be celebrating Tiki Mashi. Not just George Washington Carver and the amazing things he did with the peanut. The over 300 inventions he made with a peanut. But our athletes too. Tiki Mashi. Nobody, it's like, it's like, oh yeah, that should be one of the names. In, in aviation, African American, and this is February. I mean, that's one of the, there you go. 